All right. I am here today with Jared Harbosky. He is my mortgage lender. How are you doing today, Jared? Doing fantastic, Dre. Glad to be here. And uh, we just want to go over some things and uh, basically tell you how easy it is to buy a house and why, why it's such a great idea to buy a house. Yeah, definitely. It's a great time too right now. So we'll definitely into that as we go through the video here. But yeah, so we had closed two clients earlier this year who, um, I know one of them, they brought nothing to the proposing table. So basically bought a house for nothing down. And the other, our other client got the house. It was like $25,000 under the appraisal value. So yeah, if you want to go into that and just explain to everybody how that can happen for them too. Okay. Yeah. Those are some great topics. These are uh, the last two clients we just closed. Um, so one of them, she didn't have quite enough money for down payment and closing cost. Uh, she had around $3,000. So what that allowed her to do was to put earnest money down on the house. That's 1% of the purchase price. So everybody has to put at least that down, your 1% of the purchase price, your earnest money. And that's for them to take the house off the market. And then um, other than that, all she had to do was buy an appraisal. And the rest of it was covered. Actually, we got so much of it covered that uh, she was at, she got all of her money back at closing. So she got uh, about $1,800 back at closing uh, on that property. So she literally bought a house for free. She just had to have some upfront money to pay for the uh, appraisal and inspection and the earnest money. And then uh, the down payment assistance program we used got her all the money for down payment and closing. And she was actually due money back at closing. So that's a really good way to uh, set yourself up. If you don't have quite enough money for down payment and closing costs, we have loans that can cover that for you. So um, it's best to set up a consultation with us and let us get started on it. If, if you desire to buy a house, I'm sure we can make it happen for you. Yeah. Yeah. And probably I would say most people don't exactly understand what the sales price is compared to the appraisal value. So if you'd explain that too, and um, you know, just let people know that there are times when they buy a house for way under the appraisal value, like our last client did. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, this other client we just closed, um, it was just fantastic negotiations by Dre. And, um, and it's not the first time this has happened. Dre has excellent negotiation skills. Uh, the house was valued, I believe, around 250000 and he got them the house for 225000 So what that means is, as soon as they moved in there, uh, they could sell this house for $250,000 because the appraisals are based on nearby sales. So these homes have sold nearby, and, and based on those values, this property was valued at 250000 But because Dre did some great negotiating with the sellers, he got the price down by $25,000. And uh, that's, that's just an instant $25,000 in your home equity. Uh, it's, like a, it's like another bank account. So it's, um, it's a great way to build wealth as, as well as you know, get your dream home. So uh, we'd love to be the team that helps you get there. Oh, okay. definitely. Yeah, I have to say when you own a house, like having a forced savings account because every time you make that monthly payment to your mortgage, you know, you're basically building equity and putting money in that account that you can eventually come to realize when you sell the house. So yeah, definitely a, a great thing there. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. So how are the interest rates looking right now, Jared, or the mortgage rates and where do you see them going in the year, the future, possibly six months, a year from now? Great question. So right now, mortgage rates are near record lows. They have come up a little bit, um, and they could continue to trend up. Uh, what we're seeing as the country opens back up from the COVID shutdown is the stock market has been soaring. Um, the stock market, the Dow Jones bottomed out around 18,000, and we're already almost to 25,000 again. Um, the all-time high on the Dow was 29,000. So... Uh, we're, we're quickly approaching uh, back to where we were. And what's going to happen as uh, the economy, you know, rebounds and gets better is the Federal Reserve will raise the interest rates. Uh, as we all know, they can't wait to raise those interest rates. So um, it is a good time to buy. It's probably the, one of the best times ever. Um, the demand has not slowed down since uh, this coronavirus has happened. 
demand has uh, picked up, at least in Texas uh, and, and in our area in Houston, greater Houston area, it is uh, the buyers are still out there and there's still not enough inventory. And what that means is a simple supply and demand. If there's a lot of demand for homes and not enough supply, the prices are going to continue to go up. And then on top of that, you're going to have uh, the economy rebounding, and that'll put uh, upward pressure on rates. So we'll probably see rates low for you know the next six months, and and then uh, they're going to they're probably going to start going up again. Um, nobody has a crystal ball and knows exactly what's going to happen, but uh, that's the way the trend seems to be going at this time. So it's one of the best times to buy in history because rates are so low. And the difference uh, between one point on your interest rate could be thirty to forty thousand dollars or more in in interest over the life of the loan. So it's very important to uh, to lock in a great rate and, and to get yourself uh, get into a home as quickly as possible and get into the right house. You know, then that way you can build your equity in that home. Yeah, definitely. And I know from experience, uh, Jared's really good at locking the roll low rate for our clients. He has a, a very great method of doing that to help them get the best deal for their, for their property. And um, what are the current interest rates at, Jared? The current interest rates uh, for a conventional loan is around 3.25%. And uh, for and that's on a 30-year fixed. And then on a VA loan or FHA loan, they're around uh, 2.75 to 2.875. So uh, there are actually rates on 30 year fixed products in the twos. It's uh, unheard of. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. It really is. <laughs> what a time. Really is. Time to be alive. And the reason why does, uh, the FHA has slightly lower rates is the mortgage insurance is generally a little more costly on that loan. So it's, uh, it's best to, to get a total cost analysis from your lender. And that's something I do with all my clients. So we can actually compare which one is going to save you the most money. So if I ask 10 people, what's the best deal, a uh, 2.75 on an FHA or a 3.25 on a conventional, most would say that 2.75 because that interest rate is lower, but that's not actually true. It's actually going to cost you more money to borrow over time with the FHA loan than it will with that conventional loan uh, with that half point interest rate difference. So um, it's best to get a full consultation and a total cost analysis so you really know which product is going to fit you the best and which one's going to save you the most money over time. Yeah, okay, that definitely makes sense then. And can you go a little more in depth about the down payment assistance program as you mentioned earlier and just really how someone gets approved for a loan overall what that process looks like? Okay, yeah, uh, great question. What we do is we start with an application. That's just some of your basic information, name, date of birth, uh, two years of address history, and we need two years of work history. Um, if you were in college or in a technical school or something like that and don't have the full two years, we can use that college or technical school as your job. So we can build job history with that. And then what we do with that information is uh, we collect your income and asset documents. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull credit and compare your, your income to your current liabilities. And that's going to give us your debt to income ratio. And that'll tell us about how much house you can afford. And then we'll come, we'll come down from that amount to see what's going to be a most comfortable range for you. Because what it's more about uh, is most, most important is a comfortable monthly payment, not what's your max pre-approval amount. Um, you can go to the max, but um, it's a lot more fun and comfortable if you stay in uh, your comfort zone and, uh, and that's going to help you build wealth better over time. So um, after we get that information, we're going to uh, get you pre-approved. Don't have enough for down payment and closing costs. What we're going to do is we're going to set you up with a loan program that can, can cover what you're missing. And uh, that's why it's key to get all those documents in so we can see how much money you have because it is best to not to use as little down payment assistance as possible. The more down payment assistance you need, the higher the interest rate. So um, there's different products that range from 3% down payment assistance all the way to 6% down payment assistance. And what that means is that's either three, 
to 6% of the loan amount. So if you had a $200,000 loan and uh, you had about $5,000, well, we'll set you up with that 3% down payment assistance. You're gonna get $6,000 for free, and then you can use some of your own money to cover the difference. If you needed a little more, we can go up from there. But it's best to use as little as possible. That way you still get the best interest rate that you qualify for. Okay. okay great. And the way that those programs work is there's a couple different kinds. The ones that I really like is T-Shack. That is a grant. What that means is once you buy this house and you get that money at closing, that is yours. You don't owe that back to anybody. If you go sell the house in a year, you don't owe that. You don't have to pay it back. If you, if you want to refinance to a lower interest rate in a year, it's not, you're not going to get penalized and you're not going to have to pay back that down payment assistance. It's a true grant. Now, with uh, some of the other products, if you need a higher amount of down payment assistance, if you need 6%, that's called Seth Gold Star. And what that program does is it gives you a forgivable second lien. And uh, it's at a 0% interest rate. So the lien doesn't cost you anything unless you go to sell the house earlier than five, seven, or 10 years. There's different increments. Now, if you do the five year, the interest rate will be a little higher. The seven year forgivable second lien, interest rate's a little bit less than that. And if you do the 10 year forgivable second lien, that's gonna have the lowest interest rate. But then again, if you move out of that house in 10 years, which you most likely will, um, you're going to have down payment assistance. So the best program for down payment assistance is T-Shack, in my opinion. But that doesn't mean that um, one of these other programs might not be better for you. So we'll just look at all the programs and compare them and see what's going to be best for your scenario. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Thanks for explaining that, Jared. And where would you say someone's credit needs to be, um, or what, I guess, maybe a range where the credit would be and they can qualify for these loans you're talking about? Um, if you have money for down payment and closing costs, you can have a credit score as low as a 580. Um, it's best to be over a 620 at least. Um, but a 580 to a 620, we can get that done. You're going to need your own down payment and closing costs because there's no down payment assistance uh, for credit scores in that range. And uh, so you can go with the FHA loan or VA loan down to a 580 and still get an approval. Um, it, anything over a 740 is considered perfect, and that's going to get you the best interest rates um, and the best loan products, anything over a 740. For down payment assistance, you need at least a 620. Some programs are a 660. And if you want to go high debt to income ratios, you need to have a 700 or above uh, for T-Shack. So it really depends. And a lot of this uh, may sound like a foreign language to you. And that's why it's very important to set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation. And uh, that way we can get into your specifics to see what's going to be best fit for you and your family. Yeah, definitely. And I would definitely say a demand for housing or the buyers are coming back to the market quite a bit. I had four calls on my listings just yesterday and now I got under contract today. So I think, you know, the more things reopen, and I know um, Governor Abbott said that he's going to allow sports to resume on 31st this month. So I think people are getting much more comfortable um, with our current situation or they're starting to ease back into it. And the more that happens, I think, the more the real estate market will come back strong and more transactions buying and selling houses will we'll go on here. So. Yes, and we're about to enter the hottest period in real estate. Uh, this spring to summer is uh, generally the hottest period in real estate. And after being um, locked in your house for 30, 60 days, uh, a lot of people have been at home for a very long time. It's going to cause a lot of people to want to move. Um, if you might want, you might find that uh, your home didn't provide enough space when your family was all in there together, and maybe you need to get a house with bigger space. So uh, think a lot of people are thinking just like you, and they're going to want some bigger space. They're going to want to change the scenery uh, for various reasons. So you have a, you're going to have a lot of moving going on this summer, and uh, the real estate market there will be a lot of houses up for sale, and there's going to be a lot of buyers out there. So. Uh, how homes are going to be moving. They, they never really stop actually. No, um, they've never stopped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I completely agree. So yeah, just give us a call or shoot us a message 
if you are planning to buy or sell a house in the near future or in the later future too, either way. Um, but yeah, I think that's all we got for today, Jared. I appreciate you being on with me. And yeah, stay safe and I will talk to you soon, man. Thanks a lot, Dre. You have a great day. Thanks for having me. All right. Have a good one. You too. Bye-bye.